they say for you to be powerful you have to master the two crafts negative and positive sure is it okay or advisable to learn the art of tantric or black magic or yeah something? anybody who want to be a mystical person i will advise you if you don't know how to destroy you will not be able to help anybody in mysticism you should know how to destroy so that if somebody is being destroyed you'll be able to amend the situation so yes any correct mystical person knows how to destroy and then how to prevent or protect or maintain so that gives you that kind of full knowledge of you being able to help him so for instance if somebody has been attacked with people you know what they use for the people no it is just a leave it's a help just simple so it's like in our villages when you give birth and you have some there are people in that town they have this kind of mystical energy if you don't go and see them whatever they will be they will just pass behind the room or maybe the house or something and then the next morning this thing they call ashram this thing that you to just divide the baby to divide your head into two if you don't find medication quickly they will just pass behind and then that your baby will have that ashram you know it's just some leaf they will just put in the fire and they will just say whatever as soon as you as soon as you your house and then your baby will catch that thing time the babies their nose will be blocked they can't even beat properly and they'll be they can't sleep but as soon as you go to this person the same thing they'll just go and take the same leaf and put in the fire and they will the ashes that's it that's gone so same same so leaf can the same leaf destroys and it kills so i was giving an example of the this to pay the to pay is just a leaf so if you don't know how to attack somebody with the and somebody comes to you who has been attacked with the tupe, how do you save the person? So you must know how to destroy so that you know how to amend or how to prevent something to happen. So yes, any serious mystical person, you have to learn both. But you have to first learn the law of karma and reincarnation. If you know these signs, and later get to know how to destroy things you be careful not to mess up you know very well that anything you do the consequences will come to you this is very unfortunate some other religious groups they try to get powers they try to get mystical abilities but they don't understand the laws of karma and reincarnation so at the end of the day instead of them using their power to help people they destroy things not knowing that they will suffer at the end of the day but one thing with christian consciousness is that the basic understanding is you have to understand the signs of karma and reincarnation and that will make you a good person because you will know whatever you do the corresponding reaction will come to you all the good things you do you will see the reward all the bad things you do you will see the reward so if you have this understanding not just theoretical but practically and you acquire any mystical energy it will be extremely difficult for you to misappropriate it or misapply it knowing very well that whatever you do these kind of re reactions will, will come to you so a special person you must learn both the negative and the positive see the electricity that we are using in this room you go in there and you see the negative wire and the positive wire right yes so these are the positive and the negative these two things are needed it is needed even our mind we have the positive side and the negative side an intelligent person will connect the two and still project positivity that is what we need to do so a specialist you must learn the two if you only know how to destroy things without knowing how to help or maintain things, it means that you are not a complete spiritualist. And likewise, if you know only how to do good things without knowing the bad things, you are not complete. You must learn the two, both negative and positive. But be a good person to the point that whatever comes out of you become positive. Okay. So before we go, can you teach us? You know, voodoo is can be used for negative and positive. But I know we sometimes focus on more on the negatives. Sure. Can we do some little experiment. ritual experiment? Not maybe on live, but you can teach. Yes, you want us to teach it. something? Yes. It, 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 see, it, it's not that all voodoo is bad. No. Voodoo can be used for positivity. Like somebody is sick, you go to a voodoo priest, they know how to heal you, will help you. Maybe your business is not going well. They know how to help you. Maybe you need a baby. But unfortunately, most of them, because they have the ability to destroy, they focus more on destroying people. Destroying people. But trust me, voodoo power also is the same thing like magic. 
I told you magic, we have the black magic and the white magic. So in voodoo, we have black voodoo and we have white voodoo. But unfortunately, most of us, all of us, we think about the negative side, the negative side. Because, for instance, you go to where they are practicing these voodoo, voodoo things. You don't see any development there. Right? You're the younger, you want to go and build some house now. They will finish you quick. They'll tell you, hey, now that many, oh, I would, I'm not about to see you. I want them. Yeah, they will see you. They will kill you. You know what? They have the voodoo power. Instead of them, if you have a power to stop somebody from building, it means that you can use that power to help yourself to build. I don't understand that. But they will not use that because the mind is bad. The mind is bad. You know, I have ever told you there are five main qualities. The only body that possesses these five qualities, you, if you have any power, it, can, it becomes in witchcraft. So people are already bad. So yes, they have the power, ability, something with them that can help them to do good things. But they won't do that. They will destroy. I, I know, I know some places. If you go there with your wife or your girlfriend and you go and stay there for one week and when you're coming back, the woman is not following you. So the old woman in that house there will grab the woman. They have a lot of mystical things. They won't use it for every positivity. They're just destroyed. Recently, we went to some funeral with a guy. So when we were going, he was in my car. So we got to say, you know, let me get down and pick a taxi and come. I said, well, I said, if I go to this town with this car and I'm inside, <laughs> then my thing that my ain't you. I have no more comment. You might see, let me fall, come in court. Then all about the more the stress in my corner. My car did be. So I was like, ready. You know this place. So situation like that, how can it be development? <laughs> you know. See, it's very unfortunate. Our indigenous way of living is supposed to guide us to live a very good life. But if you come to Ghana, there are places I don't want to mention names. If you go there, you don't see so much development. You know why? Because if you try to prove anything, somebody with some little voodoo power will destroy you. That power could do something positive is for it, themselves. Is it, is it ego? At times, they don't like competition. Okay. So this person wants to come compete. What about the CEO? No, but first, yes, you know. I don't want it. Yeah. What about the first, yes, you know. Especially if you go and mess up, you go and do some girl. What you? But they have the power competing where you be. They will not use it to do anything positive. They want to destroy it because they feel say it makes them feel good. Okay. Because because of me, somebody is suffering. But no, be naya hone kakaka na you kuruye ni no to na na ni aje seven na maya ni zano. So if you can do this, why don't you use the power to do something positive? So unfortunately, most of them want to show that they have something. I will do you do the same way our politicians want to put fear into us. We at least are playing a better. What's the point of the crowd? Please, but check which one is the three days. One that's over drop. I don't know why. Eh, when you money to see, oh, I'm not police. I'm not going to give you. Yeah, tamu. My name, my name. They say, as if they can be, I know can be used against you. That kind of that kind of nonsense. The money we just spend on my. They will drag you there. But we should focus on how to build. We say, command the new one. I say, charge up to the new one. Before you bring the three days. The one that's not going to be able to cover. Cover you. What does it? Eh, sanity. So people have power and they want instead of them to use the power properly, they want to abuse it. So many a times I have gone to programs where I do with people that will do voodoo powers and stuff. And what that they do is that they want to harm you. 